September 26. I got to title just something catchy. I don't need no man or men out there thinking that they don't need a woman. I told my wife yesterday, say hello if you're listening. Let, let the people know you're there. I said, I need you to get to the next level. Such, such, such a powerful statement. I need you to get to the next level. And what I need you to do in order for me to get to the next level is I need you to get to the next level. There's nothing wrong with saying that, folks. There's nothing wrong with uh, saying to someone that you need them. Nothing, nothing wrong with saying that. Um, nothing wrong with being vulnerable. If, if you're starting to like what I'm saying, go ahead, smash the like button. Hit the follow button. Hit the, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Sma smash them all in unison. Just bam, smash on the screen. There's nothing wrong with showing vulnerability. There's not, especially, especially when it comes to your spouse, partner. Um, it's nothing wrong with saying, I need you. I need you. And I know you got a lot of people saying, okay, no, no, we don't need, we want. No, no, that, that, that's a prideful approach if you ask me. That's a, oh, I, I don't need you, but I want you. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's, let's get vulnerable. Let's let's get down to the bare bones. Let's get down to where the rubber meets the road. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes. I need you. I need you. And I need you in this capacity. In order for me to push forward, I need you to do A, B, and C. I need you to propel me forward. And you guys sit down and discuss exactly what that means. Sit down, discuss your goals, discuss your life plans. You know, it sounds grand saying that, um, you know, nobody can do it by themselves. You know, we and I, and I tried to think about that yesterday. I said, well, maybe I might look at look at Oprah and see how she excelled. Um, you know, my, my, my quickest go-to is actually Michael Jordan. And I'm living in my era where he was a phenomenal player. He was a phenomenal player before... He was a phenomenal player before they brought on um, Phil Jackson. But Michael Jordan needed to have a team built around him. He needed the Scottie Pippen. He needed the Dennis Rodman. He needed the Kuko. He needed all those things to help him excel to reach his height of greatness. If I'm lying, I'm flying. He, that's, that's what he needed. You know, I, I used to tell my, my, my crew when I had guys working for me, hey, I need you guys to step up to the plate and get better in order for me to get better, which means I'm taking on commercial accounts because now I have that trust in you. See, we, we all move forward. We all move forward as a team. And then there's people out there getting the bag by themselves. Woo woo, right? <laughs> Doing it all by yourself. Nobody really to share it, to enjoy your successes with. Nobody to share those successes with. You know, um, it, it's, it's not fun if I'm not sharing my success with somebody. And I'm not saying a friend, I'm saying somebody that I'm coming home to every night. You know, we're sitting down coming up with the game plan. We're sitting there doing this together. You know, um, these cars are driving like they don't know how to drive. You know, there, there's no, there's nothing wrong with with, with 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 coming home to somebody and talking about the day, talking about the stressors, 
you know, the Bible says that it's good that man, you know, it's not good that man is alone. You know, and I'm going to say, you know, he, that started with Adam, but keep in mind, we're all sons of Adam. Men and women, it is not good that you live life alone. We were not created to live life alone. And you can look at this all through nature. Majority of the nature, the lion has his pride. You know, there, there, there's, there's ducks that mate for life. They don't do life alone. It sucks, sucks to do life alone. Empty house, <laughs> sitting there looking at all your stuff. You know, uh, my brother told me, he said, well, you're gonna die alone anyway. You know, who, you, you, who's gonna know you're dead? You know, that's, that's, that's the approach of, uh, you know, somebody that doesn't believe that there is a hereafter. You know, I don't know what it's like, but the Bible says that there are a great cloud of witnesses. Watch it, watching what's going on. You know, you hear about a lot of uh, life after death experiences where I don't care what science says. Well, there was, that was the brain's lack of oxygen and they're going into a dream state. No, we're eternal. We're eternal. I, I wholeheartedly believe that we are in, in energy. Think about this space. Space is constantly expanding. Space is eternal. Why aren't we eternal then? Yeah, but keep this in mind. You know, when you go home today, thank your partner, thank your significant other. Let them know that, that you appreciate them and let them know. Say, hey, hey, I need you. And, and, and wholeheartedly mean it. And let me know what happens. You know, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Peace.